A group of unlikely high school students from Phoenix enter a robotics competition and end up beating prestigious universities like MIT to win the whole thing. Now, 10 years later, their inspiring story has landed on the big screen in a new documentary. ABC 15's Lauren Vargas joins us live from the newsroom. Lauren, this is really putting Phoenix in the national spotlight. No Hey Underwater Dreams premiered here in Phoenix last night, and today it's being shown in theaters across the country. Those involved are hoping it inspires others to achieve their goals, even if they seem impossible. At Carl Hayden High School in Phoenix, the robotics team has a different definition of playing catch. It's not just in a textbook, and it's not boring. It's actually very powerful, and you can use it to accomplish a lot of things. This is one of several robots currently being worked on in the lab. It's just a bunch of air. So that's, I just tell it to turn it on and off whenever I push the button, which is what makes the ball launch. But it's the robot built 10 years ago that everyone is talking about. This past year and a half has been extraordinary. Pieces of underwater jewelry. Right now, a documentary about the Carl Hayden robotics team is in theaters. But the robot was only the beginning. Showcasing the struggles and triumphs of four undocumented Mexican-American American students and the teachers who inspired them. We didn't know that this was going to turn into a life changing program for many of these kids. One of those original mentors, Freddie Lajavardi, is still inspiring students today. What the kids see the robotics team as being for them is a way out. Are you really going to see this thing through? In addition to the documentary, the 2004 team is now also the subject of a full length feature film starring, among others, George Lopez and Jamie Lee Curtis. Peter works hard his whole life. The newfound fame also sparking conversation on immigration in America. And I think that's what's the best part about this movie. It shows what real people are struggling with in real, in real life. The movie is called Spare Parts and is scheduled to premiere in January. The documentary, again, is out now and is being shown here in Phoenix at the AMC Arizona Center throughout the week. It's so interesting to see just how the robotics have changed over the years from then and now. I have a feeling both of those, the documentary and the movie, are going to be real tearjerkers. Yep. Thanks so much.